1 Samuel 17, 48 and 50. And it says this, as the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Ran, he ran towards him, reaching into his bag, taking out a stone he slung in and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down to the ground. And David triumphed over the Philistine with the sling and the stone without a sword in his hand and he struck down a Philistine and killed him. And I'll read verse 51. It says this, David ran and stood over him. He took hold of the Philistine's sword and drew it from the scabbard. After he killed him, he cut off his head with a sword. So David did something. Took his own sword, Goliath's sword, and killed Goliath. Cut off his head. And with that, I'll say this. Some of us have become the Goliath in our own lives. Some of us are still fighting yourselves. Some things people have let go, let go a long time ago. But you're struggling still fighting yourself. You have made this Goliath, produced this Goliath in your life. You have. You have manufactured that you couldn't do things, that, that, that you had these issues, that you take medicine, and that, that, that you, you, you have all these issues that you've made Goliath Bigger than nine feet. You got to slay him. Maybe you don't have five smooth stones, but you got God. And if that's the case, you equip with more than you need. Some of you say, you know what? I can't do it no more. That's probably the best position you need to be in. I can't take it. That's still great too. Because now, God is not going to fight when you keep stepping up. I understood this about the anointing. I'll say this. Because society has tricked most men. Has tricked most men to thinking that I got to do something. I understood that with the anointing, he gives you the power to do nothing. That's power.